And those with a disease in their heart, they choose the allegorical part because they want to make it. Oh, it's no one can understand this. No, Allah don't say that. He says it makes it clear because Allah is not the author of confusion, brother. Man, brother. So what we're saying is the, what we're saying is the confusion. What is well, the confusion is this, brother, that we're looking to a cloud to be the author of our lives. Let me let yeah. me explain. Look. This is a material universe. You've got people who say, I can't be a Muslim because I'm wearing a bit of gold. Come out the ground, brother. Allah produced this. And he produced it for us. This material that we're wearing, brother. Who made it? Man made it. That lens, man made it. The watch, man made it. The mobile phone, man made it. Show me the thing, show me the thing that man did not make or did not produce or, or does not manipulate and come to the understanding of. How do we know, brother, that you are A or B in terms of your blood group? How? How? I study in science. Right, right. But the science that they're studying, brother, that science is laid out by Allah in the first place. It's not like we're discovering something. We're just looking at Allah's creation. Allah is the teacher of all things. Right. So we but, but we keep trying to take Allah out of the equation. They, uh, listen yeah. to what people say to us. They say, stuck for Allah. Allah could never come in a man. So now you're telling me that you control Allah. Allah says in the book, I can do what I please. I do what I please. Allah and he also, can do anything. Allah, he also says, Allah says, um, it's not, it's not befitting for him to take a son. So if it wasn't befitting for him to take a son, how much more than he actually lower himself yeah, and put himself? Allah has spoken about mankind being ignorant. Allah says, verily, we gave or we offered the amana, the, the trust, yeah, to the mountains and, and, and the other creations, and they abstained out of fear. But mankind took it on himself. Yeah, and verily, mankind was very was, was ignorant. And Allah uses the word Jahula. So we are saying at the same time that an ignorant creation, i.e. The, the original man, the black man, the one who was the food have been the first person to disobey Allah, right? And that person is divine or is of divine material. And that's where I struggle. It's not necessarily that there's a spirit, I understand. There's, I understand. there's a spirit God, but I would never say to I, I would never say this is what my God looks like. Yes. Other than the fact that he said to me, for example, that Allah has hands. Or that he hears and he sees. So we say, yeah, as Ahlul Sunnah Sunni we say, we affirm for Allah that which we affirm for himself. So if Allah says he's got a hand, then he's got a hand. And if he says he's got a shin, then he's got a shin. Yes. Right. But it's the, it's the issue that has no but. There's no, no but. That's the point. There's no but. There isn't see, a but. But what I'm saying is, see, see, brother, 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 believe me, believe me, brother. Here I am, an ignorant man walking around. I've got no clue what's going on. You come to me, brother, and you teach me of God. You teach me something so beautiful that I become a believer in God. Do you understand, brother, that Allah came in the person of you to me? It is Allah who is the teacher, brother. See, it's, Allah. It's the, I think maybe I'm where I would stumble is the language that we I know, I know, I know. Allah is I know, coming. I, I, I wouldn't choose to use no, that but, 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 well, I, well, you know, this is how Allah... Look, brother, Bilal. Sorry, not Bilal. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, brother. He received the revelation through Jibril. Jibril. Who is Jibril? Some people say, oh, they describe this man having wings and... No, brother. The Prophet is walking with some of the companions one day. A man approaches him and asks him spiritual questions. The Prophet answers the questions. The man goes away. He's dressed in white. The Prophet says, do you know who that was? They say, no, sir. He said, that was Jibril. It's a man, brother. A man. Allah reveals through men. Moses, all of the Prophets, brother, are men or women. Women are seers as well. This is how God works. But you see, brother, we want to make him spooky. 
spooky and then the then the believers then the believers wonder brother they wonder why they got no power they wonder why they can't you know you got shaitan's world just overpowering the muslims now the muslims are in the muslims are divided they're all over the place you got you got so Sunni. the muslims are like that because they're not following the last command that's that's what, they've been living but, but what did the prophet say brother the prophet said three generations after me shall be not of me he predicted the deviation of the Ummah. And the Ummah today, brother, are in deviation. We think that we're with the Prophet because we grow a beard. We think we're with the Prophet because we wear Kufi or Jalabiyah or we wear use a Mishwak, brother. That's fancy dress. Anyone can put on fancy dress. That's not the Sunnah. The Sunnah is to have the heart and the mind and the spirit of the Prophet, brother. Where he was a warrior against injustice. He raised women up from a a subservient position he stopped the idol worship and all the madness that was going on let me tell you something man let me tell you something brother religion is a is a is, i think it was karl marx who said it's a, 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 a like a like a drug where people take their brains out leave it at their front doors because they're religious let me tell you something brother the religious community they better wise up I'm saying to you with all due humility and respect, Allah is, Allah is God and Allah is man. And when I, when I say that, brother, I'm not, see, see, see it's, it's, you've got to know what man is or who man is. In the Bible it says, who is man that God, that God should consider him? Who is man? Right. Hey, hey, it's not me to be rude. Yeah. And, and by the way, when you... You're all arguing about religion. We're all men here, yeah? We don't, we don't have our Arabic anymore. It was stolen from us. We're, we're slowly relearning. However, see, brother, in the book, it makes distinctions between man and mankind. There's a, there's a difference, brother. And when this white man said he went to the moon and he stepped down and he said, one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. You need to ask yourself the question, why did he make that distinction? What is the difference between man and mankind? Because mankind is a kind of man, but he's not the original man. And the original man, brother, is different to mankind. And, and man, brother, Man, we, we, brother, you, I, I don't want to put it on you, I'm going to put it on myself, brother, we have hardly seen a real man, that's what I want to say, brother, see that's why we spend so much time talking about historical men, because they were like, wow, you know, when you read about it, you say, oh my God, but we don't believe that such men could live today, but that's our mistake. Because Allah is the like said. Right, but that's my point. But I'm saying, brother, when you see man in his true magnificence, we don't know what a man looks like. What we see today, brother, is a facsimile of a man. So man, what are the man, attributes man of a man? How does he recognize a real man? Oh, brother. Is yeah, that yeah. another long You're asking some beautiful <laughs> questions. But well, I've got to say this to you, brother. I really, really appreciate you, brother. I really appreciate your spirit. Your spirit is absolutely beautiful. Brother, let me tell you something. Some of these so-called religious people, when their faith is questioned or somebody says something that they don't quite get or they don't understand, and we get all shaky and we want to kill the speaker and we want to get all twisted and angry, that's because your faith is weak. Well, that's the thing. I, I've, I've got a firm foundation in no, what I believe. But, but that's, but that's what I feel from you. Yeah. I feel a man who is very grounded and you know what you believe. So you don't feel threatened by somebody who's offering a different exegesis. And we all have to learn to humble ourselves and learn to listen to the other because there's something to, to learn. There's something to be gleaned from, from just having the humility to recognize that we don't know. In the Holy Quran it says, um, what's that scripture where it says uh, we believe in all of it? It is all from Allah in terms of the, 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 yeah, where, where, where 
and, and what they've done, they put the comma in the wrong place in many of the translations to try to make out that the scholars also know as well as Allah. But Allah says, none knows its interpretation but Allah. No, no, Nobody knows. That. Okay, no. Nah. No, nah, nah, yeah, no. Nah. Yeah. So the that. verse you're talking about is um, in Surah Al Imran, it says, um, Sorry. And you're saying that's where it's supposed to stop. But some people have continued to say one. So when I read that, when I read that surah, that's what I do. I continue because there's, I don't have. In fact, what I do have is I have a precedent to know that some of the companions and some of the early generations used to read that verse like that. But that's not to say that the people of understanding are anywhere close to the understanding of Allah. No. Allah is all the world, all things, and yeah. they're difficult. He says, none knows its interpretation but Allah. And those who are, you know, wise and firm, really whatever, really they say, we believe in it, all of it, it is all from Allah. But Allah is the one who knows the interpretation of that which he has revealed. And Allah says that in terms of Jesus, the, the, the Messiah, He says He teaches him the book and the wisdom. See, see, brother, this is what says that about the Prophet Muhammad as well. Right? He teaches them well, the Quran see, and the Prophet Muhammad. Well, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, brother, he received the revelation. But the Prophet Muhammad gave us some exegesis, but he didn't give us all. That's why the prop, that's why the scholars to this day, brother, are arguing and wrangling. But this they are, you do realize they are using historical attributes, which have been left. They have been attributed, they have been attributed to the Prophet Muhammad to do that. Because I was, what, what my retortion would be is, Allah says in the Quran, um, whoever seeks a religion of Islam, then. Um, it would not be accepted for him, and in the hereafter he would be somewhat polluted. Okay, let, let's, let's he also see. says, uh, today I've completed and perfected my religion, yes. yeah, and I've chosen for you Islam right. as a religion. Did you know that Islam is not a religion? Well, it, it's a deen. Yes. If we go back to it, a deen, it's a way of life. It's a way of life. Right. But Allah now, because of the, because, because of the level of deviation, within the human being and the human being being indisciplined and not wanting to focus himself properly, Allah then codifies Islam into a book with all so that we actually have something Over there. that we can have in our head to follow. What did you do? Going off, going off the path, going off the straight path. Allah in his infinite wisdom and mercy gives us a book. But Islam is bigger than any book. No book can contain Islam. Islam is the universal order. Islam is from the very beginning. Islam didn't start 1,400 years ago. Right, so, so Islam, when we say no religion will be acceptable to Allah, brother, if a Christian will submit his will to do the will of Allah 100%, no matter what he calls himself, he's a Muslim. Well, uh, I fully agree. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So you wouldn't be a Christian anymore. Though, would he? That's the... No, 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 no. But you see, when you say Christian, Christian only means one who is crystallized into oneness with, uh, with, with God, following the example of Christ. So, so he's still a righteous person. You see what I'm saying? So all, all is required for the human being is to submit their will to do the will of Allah. It doesn't matter what we call ourselves. That, those are labels which are so irrelevant. So the Muslim thinks that because because okay, you say it's irrelevant, yeah, yeah. and I understand when it comes to yeah. well, as in it's the overall, mm. it's, it's, it's what's what's inner and what comes out in the actions, which is the most important. Yeah. But then, why does Allah mention the fact that Abraham, what Ibrahim, he actually named his followers Muslims? Well, clearly, that's that's to give that that title some prestige. No, but, no, no, but, but listen. What does Muslim mean? Muslim means one who submits his will entirely to do the will of Allah. That's all it is. So, in whatever language you say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rastafari. Yeah. If a man is like his will, yeah. Muslim, Ali Selassie. <laughs> Such a man, can a man do that without following the command of the Prophet the nature of the human being is to submit to God. Allah encoded it in the nature. So 
some people, brother, believe me, brother, there are people who do it naturally. Some people will go against their own nature and do unrighteousness, or some people need the book. But some people, brother, it comes out of them like a web comes out of a spider. Brother, there's good people in this world who have never been exposed to the Quran. Look, look, in, 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 in Cuba, they claim to be atheists in Cuba. Atheists, brother, they don't even believe in a God. Cuba, free healthcare, free schooling. Come on now, in America, in God we trust. In England, if you ain't got money, you starve. If you ain't got money, you can't get help. See, brother, there's a scripture in the Bible that says there's a man who says he will, and there's a man who says he won't. And the man who says he will, doesn't. And the man who said he won't, does. Which man is righteous? The man who says he won't, does. And the man who says he doesn't. He said he won't, but he does. Which one is the righteous man? Maybe the one who says he won't, but he does. There you go. Because it's not about what we say. Anyone can say religion from their lips. And, brother, we've got some people claiming all manner of things. Brother, but you've got to watch the actions. Because action speaks louder than words. And you will have a man who will say, I'm an atheist. Look, brother, I'll go, I'll go further. You will have a homosexual who will be a good human being. But on that one act, they're messed up because somebody's it's, it's, told them. It's funny you said that because it's like, for black people, it's like homosexuality is like the worst. Of course, thing. that's the worst <laughs> taboo. But, but you understand what I'm saying, yeah. brother? And it's not for us necessarily to judge because, see, those of us who are heterosexual condemning the homosexuals, brother, some of the stuff that we're doing in the bedroom with our wives. <laughs> Unacceptable to Allah. Some of the things that we are our, 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 our fornication and adultery and all of that, it's just as unacceptable, bro. Yeah, I, I, but we want to throw off on the homosexual like oh that's the I think my point would be bro, you know, your example of Cuba where there's free healthcare and free school. There's also a lot of other vices. But for me the main vice is you can be as good as you want. But as at the time of, for example, because in the Quraysh would have had lots of people that did good things. But at the they, time they of meeting good, the message, and they were good poets. And, 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 and good, and good with their hospitality, apparently. Yes. And good with some of them looking after the orphan girls. Yes. But my point would be that any of those people at the time of meeting the Prophet in the hand, right? At their point of rejection, all their good deeds would be all. They'll be, they'll be zero. Because of, the, because of the fact that they rejected and not acknowledged that Allah has sent the message to them. Say for instance, earlier on, there was a, a brother here. He was shouting all kinds of filth and crazy stuff about us. But in our teachings, we're taught that there is no such thing as an irredeemable black man. So he remains my brother. And I'm not just saying it, like trying to be all pious. See, I would never be that person that you were talking about. I would never deem it to be a problem. Yeah, if he fixed up, right. how is that? Right. No, but that's but that's the point. You said if he fix up, he can fix up, bro. And what we mustn't do the whole, the whole as world. as believers, as believers. See, Allah, listen to listen to Allah's attributes. He is the beneficent, the merciful, Rahman Rahim, the oft returning to mercy, the merciful. Allah is full of mercy, bro. And every one of us needs and wants the mercy of Allah. But if we are to get the mercy of Allah, we must first learn to show mercy to those. In the Bible it says it like this, forgive them, Lord, for they know not what they do. A lot of this stuff that we want is pure ignorance, bro. It's ignorance. It's ignorance. And and we it's annoying listening to ignorant speech, but what can you do? If a man chooses to, to live there, you know, you, you just try to move away from him, let him continue, but what we mustn't do is become so incensed and so angry and allow that jinn within to get to the point where we want to murder him. Do you understand what I'm saying? We want to silence him because, oh, he's, he's saying something, you know, but it's a, you know, brother, honest to God, some of the biggest problems on our planet is around religion. You understand what I'm saying? And religious people have to learn to humble themselves and understand that in the Bible, I think in the Bible it says that all of your righteousness is as filthy rags in the eyes of God. You understand? Some of us, we, 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 we become holier than thou. And we think we're so righteous because we go and do five prayers or whatever we do and we pay some charity, whatever. It's much more than that, brother. It's much more than that. 
and um, it's about connecting with the essence of God, the essence of Allah. See, we run around the Kaaba, brother, and we think, some of us act like that's where God lives. <laughs> brother, without this body, that block of stone could not exist. That black stone that all the Muslims are fighting to kiss, but they won't kiss a black man. But I'm telling you, brother, that black stone is a sign. It's a sign of the black man, of the original man. Believe me, is that, is that why you're linking the two, the black ooh, man and the black ooh. stone? See, brother, see this, see this center of our eye, brother, this black circle, that the white goes around? Oh, see, there's so much in life that's codified by Allah, brother. But the black man is more than who we think the black man is. You know, brother, we've been here for over 76 trillion years. The black man. We never evolved from a monkey, brother. We've always been men. However, brother, you can't find on this planet today a gun with a black man's name on it. We outnumber the white man, brother, in excess of 20 to 1 on this planet. Can I offer an alternate thing? Yes, we are not responsible for any pressure for any assault rifle. Not our name. No. Uzi is not our name. <laughs> But in our Smith continent. and Western is not our name. But would we not have been, would they, would we not have been responsible for, for the bows and arrows or the spears that we would have used to kill our own people? See, brother, again, there's a, there's a tremendous African proverb that says, until the lions tell their story, the tale of the hunter will always be superior. See, everything we've learned about lions, we learned from the hunter. You need to listen to what the lions have to say. Because they'll put the camera on the line and say, look at this savage creature. No, bro. The lion is only carrying out its nature. The white man goes into the ocean and condemns the shark. The shark is doing what sharks do. The white man puts the dog in his living room, domesticates the dog, and then the dog, every now and then the dog has a flashback, brother, to his nature. And the nature of a dog is to bite. So the dog bites up the child, then the white man is all angry and vexed. He puts the dog down. The dog didn't do nothing wrong. The dog was carrying out its nature. The white man, he said that he came to Africa and found a black man swinging through the trees with a bone in his nose. He's a damn liar. Brother, we are the most civilized people on this planet. That's why the white man put us in his kitchen to cook his food. Because we knew how to cook, brother. We knew about herbs and spices. We knew how to season. The white man says that he's a gentleman. No, the real gentleman is right here. You've never seen a suit worn properly until you saw the members of the nation of Islam. This is how the suit is supposed to be worn. This is the real gentleman. We don't carry weapons in the nation of Islam. We are a completely unarmed group. We don't believe in carnal weapons. We're Muslims. We're taught, we taught to fight with those who fight with us. We do self-defense. That's all we We don't believe in being aggressive. We don't believe in attacking anybody. We don't believe in putting people down based on their different beliefs or disbelief or whatever. We're peaceful people, brother. That's the nature of the black man from time immemorial. You can't show any black nation that's ever left its borders and gone and attacked and conquered other people. We don't do it, bro. I know, go on, go on, I'm search for it. I'm a Shanti, so I know my people's history. And I know because I'm from a specific tribe in Shia. So prior to Ashanti, the Ashanti tribe getting um, prestige or eminence in the Ghana, then Shia was actually literally going around and consolidating territory within the Ghana by killing the other tribe. Okay. And then Ashanti then okay. did that. And what we also did is we were one of the first and foremost of the people to sell our brothers of course. Okay. How long ago was this? Um, let's say what, 14, around about 1400. Okay, so that's, so that's yesterday. Brother, the white man has been here for 6,000 years. And I'm telling you, brother, his influence in Africa and throughout the East and the, uh, what we call Asia, brother, this is where all of this killing came from and where it all started. Prior, brother, remember what I said, we've been here for 78 trillion years. Brother, we never did it, brother. It was never in our character. It was never in but, 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 going back to that other thing again, remember before about that, that then thing that's that it? Yes, yeah. there's a defect. There was a defect in the original man's character and the creator wanted to perfect, perfect man and perfect the universe. 
there's a wobble. There's a wobble in our in the planet. You know, the planet Earth is not perfectly round. Yeah. It's like an egg shape, like an oblong, and it and it, it, well, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't go round. As it turns, yeah. it wobbles. Yeah. This is something which is in the process of being perfected. So you don't so believe, don't believe that the green are is at the very, at, the very, at, the very yeah. at its very inception? No sir. No sir. So, do you not believe that the creator himself is perfect? No sir, he's called Rabil Alami. Right. One who creates and then perfects the creation stage after stage after stage. We are living in a universe that's moving more and more towards a perfected condition and state. And Almighty God Allah, He makes the law of the universe, the universal principles and laws. But guess what? He lives within His own law. He's not a lawbreaker. His, his perfecting of himself is an ongoing process just like the universe. So, so yeah, so he's doing himself simultaneously growing and developing and knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, because knowledge is infinite. And Allah. Oh man. So let's grow. So at one point. I mean, but we're gonna to have to go very no very shortly but yeah. i've really enjoyed this bro we, i think we need to have more little diet yeah, i really appreciate your um i really appreciate your questions and um your manners you know it's, it's a beautiful beautiful thing yeah thank you very much no no may allah bless you bro and uh, may we all just continue to study yeah and may allah open doors and, 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 and you know bring us to more avenues yeah, yeah. to increase our knowledge. The Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said that the Muslim, the Islamic woman must go in search of knowledge. And even if we have to go to far up China, he's a Buddhist brother. He's a Buddhist, mostly Buddhist. But the Prophet was not afraid to tell the Muslims keep learning. Yeah. Learn, learn. And he's telling me, by the way, in one of the hadith he told them, he said if a man should come to you with a face or a complexion like soot and hair like dried raisin. He's describing a black man. If he teaches you knowledge, follow him, listen to him. The prophet was telling again these racist Arabs, the black man, and remember what he said. The prophet Muhammad said, I heard the footsteps of Bilal going into paradise ahead of my own. He was giving him a lot of clues, bro, about what's coming. There's a new Bilal in town. Believe me, I've got to go because it's my, my suit is going to get ruined. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much, brother. That's beautiful. Next time. I don't have to. Next time. 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 Yeah, yeah, stir things up. No, what he said. Long question. I can't really go into it. That. But he said to me, if a if a white person embraces Islam and is submitted to the will of Allah, then I said to him. Man, say it straight. Man, don't listen to BBC. Man, don't listen to IT. Yeah, yeah, you're rolling still. As we already know, in Kashmir, we can see there's an uh, article 370 which has been revoked in Indian occupied Kashmir. Just for like context, we know there's two Kashmir, one Kashmir in Pakistan, one Kashmir in India. The Kashmir that I'm talking about right now, though, Kashmir that I'm referencing, is Jammu Kashmir. So we know Kashmir is a disputed region where there are not the 